Cons Podcast. Yo, 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 what's happening? What's happening? It's Cons Motherfucking Podcast, episode 67. You know what I'm saying? I've been a fan of this man. I've been listening to his music. I've been peeping him out, listening to all the EPs, you know what I mean? All the music on Apple Music that I could possibly listen to. Man, we got Vino Lamano in the building. What's happening? What's shaking, my boy? What's shaking? Oh, uh, man, you know, not shit, not shit, man. Glad to have you on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Been listening yeah, to you, checking you out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, man, let's just jump in it, man. Let's just start off, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you where, where you from? Where you out of? You know what I mean? Where you represent from? I'm representing Corpus Christi, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Bottom of the map. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah. So you started off, how long you been rapping for it before you actually got this deal? Like, Man, I've been rapping since I was like, I ain't going to hold you, man. Probably like 12 years old and shit. Hell you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, <laughs> seriously, I probably didn't start taking shit seriously until like, probably like 19, 20. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. How do you know? So I'm 34 right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I turn 34 in April. Yeah. I turn 35 next April. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Um, so how you how you select your beats, man? I love the boom bap, the feel that you got in all the beats. That shit is my up my alley, man. You you first personally select the boom bap shit or um man, it, it's a <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. So it's, it's a process, you know what I mean? Yeah, like Shit on a cool my boy, like shit. I'm a picky ass motherfucker. So like, when I'm kind of picking these beats, like within the first ten seconds, if I don't like that shit, I ain't fucking with it. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. I don't give a fuck how much time they took. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. If I don't like the shit. I don't like the shit because I'm 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 different, bro. I'm like I'm like one. I'm like a rapper that. I got to feel the beat. Yeah. I mean, if I don't feel the beat, no, I I mean, you're going to get some trash shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, not trash, you know what I'm saying? But like, you just ain't going to get the best of me. Yeah. So yeah. like the, the beat got to open up my heart for me to pour out my my feelings on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I said, it just, it just depends, you know what I'm saying? But every beat's different. Right. Process is different. You know what I'm saying? My, I'm mean, fucking with a soul monster's heavy. You know what I mean? So, they already know. Hey, don't hey, you send me no bullshit. You know what I mean? Shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's dope, man. What is it? What was it like uh finally meeting Benny Sonny? Was you a fan of him before you actually met him? Or? <clears throat> yeah, I was a fan of Benny. On a cool night. Every every morning I wake up and shit. Like I work on my craft. You know what I'm saying? So like right. so whenever I met Benny. On a, on a cool, I had quit rapping already when I met mm. Benny. Mm. But I would still, like, lock in, hear beats. You know what I mean, I was still, I just had the habit already, you know what I'm saying, of working on my shit. So yeah. I saw him on YouTube. And it was like, at first I saw Conway. It was like um, Eminem's science rapper that this is battle rapper or some shit like that. Yeah. So I started listening to that shit. And then... Benny, Benny comes on. I'm like, yo, like, I gravitated more towards the art of storytelling and how he double word plays everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just gravitated more to Benny. But yeah. you know, Eric was fire though. Like Conway was fire, West was fire. But I'm, I'm one of my favorite rappers, is Scarface. You know what I'm saying? So whenever, whenever I I listen to Scarface, you know what I'm saying? It's like storytelling. Like he will take you to, he'll take you through a fucking. You know what I mean? The whole story. You can visualize the whole shit. So when Benny started rapping, I started visualizing the whole shit we was talking about. And and then, um, yeah, I just like, well, fuck. So I followed him on Instagram. And then um, we, we uh, I started linking in with, uh, he, I seen he had posted his, his Snapchat link or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I snapped. So I got his snap. He added me back. I was like, well, I was tripping out. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? We just... We just started fucking chopping it up. You know what I mean? Started talking and shit. And then next thing you know, he's on the way to, to my city to shoot video. I paid for the verse. Like I said, I already had quit rapping when I met him. Yeah. 
know what I mean? Yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. Yeah, I've been a fan of Benny. I've been listening to him too for a minute. Um, that's how I stumbled upon you listening to Benny. Uh, yeah, facts. Too, you know what I'm saying? And man, I've been, I ain't took you out my tape deck ever since, like for real. Uh, but yeah, I, I love the dope lines, man. The wordplay, you be having the punchlines. I love how, um, how you show how humble you are, you know what I'm saying? Show how pay homage to Benny too. That's also dope in an artist, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> artist yeah, I want to be right. Benny, man. They want to know who I am, you know what I mean? Right, right. That's just, that's just, that's just, that's reality of it, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't no, oh, but, but I'm dope and this and that. I mean, it's all reality, my boy, shit, one for Benny, like nobody know Vino. Facts. Word. Word. motherfuckers that know Vino was important for my city. Word. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm all the way in Cali, you know what I'm saying? So, first thing I heard of you was from Benny, you know what I mean? Now, like I said, I've been slapping ever since, man. Um, Hell yeah. What was the uh, what was the video shoot like for uh, the two videos I seen uh, Omega and uh, uh, for the Chin? What was them video? The Chin video is crazy, <laughs> 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 but it's dope though. I fuck with that type of shit, man. What was it like shooting uh, <laughs> with Benny though on the Omega? Man, the cool like when we did Omega. That shit was quick. Yeah, <laughs> like. He like he started off like we we got to the studio. Oh, shit, it was quick. You know what I'm saying? It was it was working with Benny. Like I was working with Benny him. I was working with him before that. Okay. I worked him about the day before that. But and then I worked with him on the uh, scene at all. Yeah. But whenever I work with Benny, it's it's all it, working with someone like Benny, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Working with somebody like Benny is like it's crazy, bro. Because like his, you see his process, and it's like it's wow. Like he just sits there, bro, and just like you just see him doing this shit, and then he's like, and you're like, damn, yeah, what's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? You know what I mean? Word. It's yeah. a humbling experience, bro. Because like I, I consider myself one of the top artists. I consider myself the best artist out of Corpus, one of the top artists out of Texas, but the hardest Mexican rapper ever. Well, you know so for me to look at Benny and, and be humble at his at his whole process of how he does it, it's like yo fucking crazy. Well, you know what I mean? But like long story short, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a blessing working with someone like him because Shit, it's, it's it's like it's wild. That's not like I could just put it like that. Like words don't even describe that shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I can only imagine. Do he be uh, putting the pen to the paper, or he one of them dudes who? Nah, be- nah, nah. He don't put no pen and no paper. No. That's dope. That's dope. And yeah. I'm in there on my phone, like you know what I'm saying, like jot it down. <laughs> I'm looking yeah. at him. He's just like, man. And I'm just like, damn. Like you finna put that shit in his head. I can't do it. I just can't. Word, word. I forget some of my lyrics that I got out now. <laughs> I heard, I heard the chin like fucking a hundred times, and I still, I still fuck up. <laughs> word. So, for me, so like for me, for me, it's like, you know, what I'm saying like, when I do a show, like I need music in the background. Cause one, I don't have a hype man, and two, like I forget words. That's how it is. Yeah. Like much respect to. <laughs> to everybody that comes from that hip hop, you know what I'm saying? The meta and shit, like Benny and them niggas, you know what I mean? They they come and they just off the head, they they doing their shit, just a beat in the background, and they just Yeah. That, that shit's crazy, bro. Like I can't remember a verse to say in my life. Word. Yeah, that's that shit is definitely crazy. A lot of rappers be talking about that shit, man. And um yep. you know what I mean, a lot of rappers be talking about it, but some there's don't definitely some shit I gotta work on. Where, where? <laughs> so I ain't, I ain't done enough shows. You know what I mean? They on tour right now, but I got real life shit happening right now. So I can't, I can't really hit the road right now. But yeah. I'm trying to hit the last shows in, in uh in Cali, Vegas. I mean, uh, in Arizona and Austin. Where? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You coming out here in um November? I'm gonna try to get those tickets. Try to see what's up with that. I ain't never been to a show like that. Uh, 
Was you listening to, uh, was you familiar with any underground artists before Benny? Like any uh, like Jedi Mind Tricks or Mortal Technique? Anybody like that? Uh, nah. Word. Word. Nah. I don't, I don't know. I listen to all type of genres of music, bro. Like, I listen to country. I listen to Spanish. I listen to rock. Okay. I listen to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a couple of reggaeton joints I listen to. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just listen to all type of different music, bro. Like, I don't just... And a lot of shit be old school. Like, I still I still pump Dre 2000 and The Chronic 2001. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Classic shit. Yeah. So, like... Oh. It just depends where I'm at, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What's some of the rock you listen to? I listen to rock too, you know, Marilyn Manson. Uh, I'm a big fan of his, you know what I mean? I listen to a lot of alternative rock, you know what I'm saying? I listen to Metallica, Leonard Skinner. Okay. Uh, Pearl Jam. I mean, the Eagles. Like, I listen to a lot of shit, bro. Like, motherfuckers are trip but they knew that, like, they think I'm just some gangster rapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say the same thing because my catalog is wide open from Beethoven, Mozart. You know what I mean? I throw on some classical, listen to that shit in a minute, switch it up and throw on some Melly Manson. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I listen to it all too. Um, hell yeah. So, some of your influence you said was uh, like Scarface. Who else? Jade Kiss, DMX, mm. <clears throat> the Dre, uh, Dre uh, the game. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Little Wayne when it was when it was when uh when Gilly was writing for him, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, uh, nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front shit. I, uh, I think Gilly wrote Carter One, like half of Carter One or some shit, and then he wrote like a couple things on Carter Two, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. I like Carter Two better than One. <clears throat> but yeah. uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Jim Jones. Mm. <laughs> Cameron, Joels. Mm, okay. And it's crazy, dog. I just met Benny like three, four years ago. And like Benny influenced me more than everybody on that list. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so cool. So it's just like but a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Bro, like I can wake up and buy like a new shirt some pants or whatever and like I'm motivated you know what I mean like right. some days like most days right now like I just wear Nike shit but if it's a regular ass day and, and you see me in some fly shit it's cause I'm I'm feeling good you know what I mean I'm trying yeah. to I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to you know what I mean write some shit look you know what I mean yeah. like I, I, just, I gotta get creative you know what I mean? that's how I am yeah yeah that's what's up but most of my shit that I wrote that you listened to bro was in Nike shorts or just laying in my fucking bed at night and just bored, just like, you know what? I'm gonna get up, all right? Or I was just laying, you know what I'm saying? Laying on the bed, and just, I'm gonna write this shit. That's but crazy. the chin, the chin was a different, uh, the chin was already written before all of that shit happened. <clears throat> okay. It just happened to be that that was the hardest track and my album was coming out the next day. So I was like, yo, we gotta shoot a fucking video like today. Word. Tonight, <laughs> they were like, "Yo, you just got shot." And I'm like, "I don't give a fuck." Bring them cameras. Word. Word. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that shit dope, man. It definitely captured all the essence of what was going on. The video, crazy. Um, definitely a dope video, man. Uh, I definitely like both of them. Um, Omega is definitely on some, you know, like like y'all just was in the trap type shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, the song came <laughs> up, y'all recorded it type shit. <laughs> that shit dope, though. Um, yeah, man, what you feel about all of this bullshit, you know what I mean? Get your opinion on all this bullshit going on with these mandates and vaccines and all that type of shit. What you feel about that shit? <clears throat> man, they're cool. I mean, to each his own, you know what I mean? If you want to get vaccinated, <clears throat> go ahead. Right. You know what I mean? If you don't, shit. If you don't, you know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't really try to focus on too much of that shit because there'd be so much dead happening around. It's just like I ain't got time to be thinking about negative shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm, yeah, that's my intake. That's my that's my take on it. Is you want to get vaccinated? Go ahead. You don't. Don't. Yeah, yeah, 
that's how I feel. I just don't like how they coming for people, you know what I mean? Jobs and people been on their jobs for 10 years and they coming at people making 80 dollars an hour, you know what I'm saying? Forcing them to get that shit. Yeah, at that <laughs> point, like, you got to figure out what's more important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Kyrie Irving, for example, we make millions of motherfucking dollars playing basketball. He don't want to take the vaccine. They ain't finna play with you, bro. The NBA is an association, and they don't. That shit's still gonna keep it moving, whether it's Kyrie Irving or not. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's now Kyrie Irving can go overseas and get whatever money he can. He can get a lot of money, tax free. Where? Oh, there. When you play overseas ball, bro, you they pay for your fucking. They pay for your cars, your living, your food, and they give you money tax free. Damn. <laughs> so he can go over there and run it up. Mm. Be the hottest fucking. He'd be the new face over there. But yeah. like I said, my boy, like this is all up to you. What you want to do? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a fact. Um, so you say you just met Benny about four years ago. Have you met uh, Conway and all of them Westside and all them? Too? Yeah, I met Conway and West. I met Conway and West. I did a show in Dallas. Okay. They walked right up to me. It was like, "Yo, you Vino?" And I'm like, "Yeah." It's all love, bro. This shit's been on since then. I actually knew West before that, but I, I knew him through the internet. This is when West used to follow everybody, or not everybody, but you know, follow the motherfuckers close to him. Yeah. And you know, what I'm saying he followed me. We follow. Well, I still follow him, but he followed me and shit. You know what I mean? But then he just unfollowed everybody. Like he don't even follow Conway or Benny. You know what I mean? So. Where? Where? But yeah, man, they saw love. Those are those are the bro- those are the homies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I go to bat for I go to bat for them just like I do Benny. Right? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm, I'm gonna tell you like I'm a wild boy. <laughs> when that switch is cut, when that switch is on, I'm a wild motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I mean, shit, that's how you gotta be in these days and times for real. Mm-hmm. The week get up though. You know what I'm nah, that's a fact. All right. Um, yeah, uh, Conway. Um, yeah, what's he like? Is he he still he don't write either? He, <clears throat> Conway, he yeah. I never been in the studio with Conway, but supposedly he don't. I don't think he writes, but I mean, I mean, <coughs> I think I think everybody writes. Yeah, to some at degree. some point. Yeah, yeah. Because there's some shit that Benny might just. Like me, or some shit that I might, I might just be thinking of, and I might not remember in an hour, so I gotta jot it down. Word, word. Um, with the BSF, I wanted to, you know, what I mean, know more about this with the BSF and the Shady. How is that? Because I think Conway, Conway, and uh, Wes is signed to Shady, and Benny wasn't right. He got his BSF movement. He didn't sign with Shady. No, nah, he ain't on Shady. He on Rock Nation. Oh, and that okay. BSF is on E1. Okay, okay, okay. But they ain't signed. <laughs> they only got they they on, they only did management with Benny through Rock Nation. I don't mm. think he signed fully. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he. I don't think, and that's that's not saying that they didn't want to sign him. I think, I think, bro, just didn't want to sign him because he wants them to offer him some money that he can't refuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's gonna happen, bro. When when Benny signs that contract, <laughs> they gonna get that nigga max. Yeah, cause he's gonna he be like, man. yeah, he gonna be he the hottest man. I'll tell you like this, bro. Ain't nobody fucking with bro lyrically. Yeah. yeah, nobody. I think all the Griselda man. I don't. I've been looking for this style of music for years. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a huge Jedi Mind Trick fan. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Um, I'm a huge Mortal Technique fan. Uh, these are all underground artists. Necro. You know, I know who they are. I just don't. Yeah. I don't I'm just not like a real huge fan. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. that's not saying they ain't dope. Right, right, right. But yeah, I just. Yeah, I know who they are, though. I know exactly yeah. who they are. Where that? Yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. Actually, I mean, people always, they always, they always, uh, they always uh, compared me to Mortal Technique. Wow. I, I see a few comments where like motherfuckers be like yo like especially when I rap like on that Omega. Yeah, yeah. That open on the streets, welcome me back, gun in my lap, riding in the trap, banging with fellas that swing yeah. the gat, get your melon crack, get taxed, you selling packs, jack two seconds flat. 
You know what I mean? When you put the words together like that, it's like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Like, Word. it's different. You know what I mean? And, and I, I really want to sound different on that whole, like, so I hit him with the fucking double word scheme play, man. That shit was hard. Word, yeah, man. I love that shit, man. Like I said, I've been looking for that sound for a long time. All the Griselda, all y'all niggas is, man, I've been looking for that shit. I mean, everywhere from you to Stove Guy to, uh, I mean, they just signed Rome Streets. You know what I'm saying? Rome Streets is a dope artist. Uh, Benny Conway, the whole record label, man. It's just that real hip hop that I've been trying to find. And I'm glad it's here. Man. Rome Streets and Stove Guy Cooks, along with myself, 2022 is going to be the biggest year for us. Wow. I can't wait. Yeah, I you know see the time they said there's no music till next year or something like that. Yeah, basically what happened is, is uh, Benny called me and shit. And he was like, yo. He's like, yo, we're going we're gonna to run it through the mill next year. So can't, don't be dropping no more music. You done, you done for the year. You worked hard enough. Get your features together. You know what I'm saying? You weren't on the BSF album, the first one. And I wasn't on there because of COVID. But... Mm. <clears throat> He's like, yo, get your shit together, you know, your features together. You know what I'm saying? He gonna exec, he gonna executive produce that shit. Oh, okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? So early 2022, I'm coming out. It's called Son of Sylvia. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm coming out with that shit. That shit gonna be crazy. Wow. Fifteen bangers. Oh, okay. I was just about to ask. It's gonna be you feel me a bit it's gonna more. Be hooks. It's gonna be features. Wow. It's gonna be beats. It's gonna be different. I got a song called Chinatown. I got a song. My my producer's like, yo, you need to make a song for the ladies. And I'm just like, uh, if I make a song about ladies, it's not gonna be no sweetheart <laughs> shit. You know? None of that lover boy so, shit. I was like, I, he's like, you gotta be like a real artist. And I'm like, nah, I got you. So Chinatown's gonna be some storytelling shit. I think that's the one I'm gonna put face on. Okay. But uh, but yeah, I, I just did some shit with Millie's last week. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. So like, OT the real. I'm gonna have all them niggas on that on that on that hoe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely cool. gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely working on my features and all that shit. So like, the JD kiss, all these all these features, brother. It's nothing to get them, especially especially uh because I'm BSF, I'm Benny's man. So like, yeah. that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? That's just the benefit of of being being on that squad. Word that elite team, that elite team. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. That's dope, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait for all the new music, man. Um, so it's gonna be tours and shows and shit coming with that too next year. Or? Mm, nice. I'm pretty sure I get off probation, bro. Yeah. So I can hit the road. Wow, yeah, definitely, definitely. I hit the road. I'm 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 gonna make two or three million dollars next year. Wow, that's what's All up. Rap, you know what I mean, easy. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's how, <laughs> um a lot of artists, that's how they eat the most, right? Them shows and shit touring and all that. You eat from that more from the streams and all that, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Man. Can't wait for the new music. Can't wait for the new music. Hell yeah. But yeah, man, you know, that's not going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much all I really had. You know, quick little conversation. Um, I was a little, you know, starstruck. You know what I'm saying? I definitely took a shot in the dark. You know what I mean? I am definitely appreciate you as with it. Definitely appreciate you being on, man. That shit is a huge... So for next year, uh, is that just the only album you got coming, or you know what I'm saying? You got some more shit coming for that year, or <clears throat> right now, yeah. up, that's all. That's all I got. Okay. In the motion. I yeah. ain't really thought too much. You know what I'm saying? After that, because I mean that shit's gonna take a lot of time out of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <clears throat> but there is gonna be more music after that. Wow! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! gonna be more features coming or how do you like doing features you like fucking by yourself or you like fucking features or uh it all depends it all depends bro like have you heard the one the one joint with me and class murder uh 
I probably have. I'm not sure. Is it on Apple Music? Yeah. If it's on Apple, I probably definitely it probably definitely doesn't play through my speakers. Let me see. Let me see what album it's on. And Vino the Mono, what does that what does that mean um in Spanish? The hand. Okay, the hand, word. And how'd you come up with that? I got, I got stabbed five times. And they almost took my hand from me. So I got mm. so I got a scar on these three fingers and then I got the scar in the middle. Okay, okay. Wow. That's where the that's where the vino la mano comes from. Well done. That's dope. I think it came out on this week's enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, the thing about me and Class Murder whip that shit up like nothing. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I could create music, bro. Like, I, I, I hear certain people on it and I just, hey, yo, I call them. Hey, yo, what up? Like, yeah. the life for me and Camino. This one right here, look. Yeah. I mean, think about it like that, bro. Like, yeah. Bro, me and Camino whip that shit up like nothing. Like, you know what I mean? The beat All was right. made nothing. The round, the, the, I sent him the hug. He sent it back. It's like, shit's easy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You got an ear for this shit. You got an ear for this shit, dog. Like, it, it really just, you know what I'm saying? My Both of my grandparents on my mom and my, on my dad's side were, 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 they fuck with music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. They had bands okay. and shit. Like, this shit runs deep. Word. Okay, okay. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like, shit, I, I'm telling you right now, bro, like, this album is going to be fucking crazy. Man, I can't wait for it. I know it's gonna be fire. All the rest of them was fire, and it got 15 tracks. So yeah, I can't wait for it. This can't shit gonna be fucking stupid, bro. Like when I say stupid, it's gonna be fucking crazy. Man, I bet it is. So the process of making the song that should go fast, huh? You knock out EPs in what a couple days or what? Yeah, truthfully, it takes me longer to fucking pick the beat out. To, oh, to lay it down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens is like they'll send like a batch through. Like when I was doing one every month, they were dropping them. They'll give me a, like a beat pad like two weeks before. They give me like 10 beats. Yeah. I pick like three, four, maybe. And they send a beat pack and I pick like another three. And I just drop them all in one day. Go to the studio and be like, all right, play this song. And they'll be like, all right. I'm gonna jump in and lay my verse down. The dad lips. All right, next one. So like, I recorded the EPs in two hours tops. Damn, that's lit. That's Think dope. about it like that, bro. Like it's easy. Wow. Yeah, because Griselda, you know, what I'm saying they be saying all the time how they, you know, they put out music. You know, what I'm saying almost every artist on that label they drop music. Like the fans are not waiting long for the next album type shit, you know what I'm saying? Which is dope though, especially when you're putting out fire like that, you know what I mean? That shit's fire. Um, but yeah, that's dope, man. I can't wait for the next music. Can't wait for the tours. Have you ever, who, so the beat selection, has Alchemist ever uh, put any beats for you? Made any beats for you? <laughs> nah. But yeah. that's one thing that Benny told me, he was like, yo, we finna get you. We finna get you a, uh, we finna get you some Alchemist beats and Harry Frog. Truthfully, like, I love what them guys do, but, like, I ain't worried about that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll put my producers in, in a room with anybody and she think my producers, are gonna, they gonna flourish. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Bad. But yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with getting Alchemist beat and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't need beats. You feel me? Word, word, word. So all your music, your beats is from your producers? Yeah, they all from the same two two do uh, two producers. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah, because all them beats, like I said, and it fits in like with that Griselda sound, all them beats is man, fire. All the production <laughs> is fire. Word. I thought for sure that was something uh Something with Griselda or something like that. But that's your producers, man. That's dope. Yep. So these yeah, are the yeah. that you've been working with for a few years or? Nah. Or yeah, since I, since I started rapping with Benny. I started fucking with them. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear my dog snoring and shit? Nah. What <laughs> <laughs> kind of dog you got? Huh? What kind of dog you got? Uh, he a bully. Okay. I'm going to you right now. Hold on. Let me, let me flip I heard. Right. I just heard him snore just now. <laughs> my dog be snoring too. Oh, okay. Dope. All them wrinkles in there. They look dope. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. All them wrinkles. I know about that. All them wrinkles is the most expensive the dog is. Yeah. That good <laughs> yeah, but like I said, man, 2022, man, we're going to live. We're going we're gonna to drop that heat. Man, I can't wait for the fire, man. Can't wait for it. Um, we're going to drop that fucking bangers. Man, oh, you said you're gonna be at the show uh, when they come out here. Thinking, I'm thinking I'll be there. Well, hell yeah, man! I'm gonna try to get myself in the building, uh, especially coming out here to where I'm at. I feel like I have to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have to make it. You know what I mean? Um, the tickets are selling out though. Hoping to get mine next week though. Um, nah. I touch down over there, man. Just highlight me. I'll put you in the I'll put you in the door with me. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's what's up. I'm never gonna forget who was with me when this shit was ten thousand followers strong, you know what I mean? Yeah, word, man. Like, one, yeah. like you know how many you know how many real motherfuckers that I met across the United States just fuck with my music? Word. From I'll New bet. York, from fucking Florida, you know what I'm saying? Fucking Yeah. Real mm-hmm. motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying? They can smell that realness on me, you feel me? Exactly, man. The same way yeah. when Benny met me. When he looked me out of the eye, he was like, oh, I got a rap today. This is this is the first thing he said today. That was the first <laughs> thing he said to me whenever I thought. Because see, my, my homie was like, yo, what you going to do when Benny pulls up? I said, man, I'm going to just bring him to the side and start spitting verses at him. Let him know, you know what I mean? That he, he, ain't, he ain't just some bum. Man. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and then... He came in, we broke the ice, and I just started. He was like, Oh, I got a rap today. Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hell yeah. What I, think, I think uh I think Millie's gonna come out. He's gonna come out to where I'm at shit this week. Or not this week, but coming up and we're gonna shoot the video of that shit. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna drop it till next year. <clears throat> but I like, to, I like to have a bunch of work. Yeah. That's time when all said and done, when, they, when Benny executive producing shit, I want a bunch of beats. I mean, I bought a bunch of records, a bunch of fucking videos. I, I want it all just mapped out where he can just be like, all right, damn, that's lit, that's lit, that's lit, that's lit. You know what I mean? Right, right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Can't wait for it. Can't wait for it. You know what I'm saying? I've been putting the, all these EPs on repeat. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, you can definitely feel the realness. You know what I'm saying? That's what I felt as soon as I heard the bars. You can uh, definitely hear the turf stories, the turf realness. You know what I'm saying? All the pain, struggle. You know what I mean? You definitely convey that through uh, all the music and all the bars that you put out, which is fucking dope, man. Um, hell yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, so features you said you don't really fuck with him. Um, you know, what's like what's like your uh bar process? Is it just one take or you go in the studio, you gotta kinda fuck up, do a take? <sighs> yeah. Usually one take. Okay. You know what I'm saying? One take and I just I do the ad libs and shit. Yeah, yeah. Stress points. Wow. Yeah. That's basically what it comes down to. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so what was it like when you first you feel me got signed? Was it like night and day life change or you know what I mean? How was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Day. This is another day. Where it's another day, huh? You know what I mean? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, that's what's up. Uh, yeah, man, I can only imagine uh, what it would be like, you know what I'm saying, being in that light, chilling with Benny, you know what I mean, being in videos and shit, man, must be a hell of an experience, man, must be very, <laughs> very humbling. That's the only dog you got, or you breeding, or what? 
Nah, I just have them. All right, all right. You got more than one? Yeah, I got a Frenchie too. Oh, okay. She's more, she more mean than the bully. All right, all right. Yeah, that's what's up. Hell yeah. That's slick, man. Hell yeah, man. You know, the mono. That's what's up, man. I'm glad you're you first, part. right? Hey, man, before we tap out. Yeah. You said a verse? Yeah. All right. This on, this on her. I love I'm from south of the border, but I spit it like a New Yorker. I spent half my time paranoid looking over my shoulder. Whatever you need, I can get. Just place your order. Me and Tony Cordial, my sister Angie, that bitch is snorter. Her older son, Pussy, that nigga owe me a quarter. On Facebook, riding my enemy dick and being their supporters. But ain't 30 bands and up, man, I won't even move. Plug told me they gas, they trash. I told them they won't even move. I got the effing on me. That's the only way I'll move. I was in situations that had me stuck and I ain't know what to do. But I'm a real one. Know that I figured it out. I'm real life him and you niggas is big on clout. And it can't be no rap shit without the South. I got Texas on my back and that's without a doubt. I ran it up and I ain't need them to show me no love. Meanwhile, y'all flexing money that you owe your plug. Rolex, two-tone, you know my time is different. They know it's us to spin the block but can't find no witness. And y'all condone that dry snitching? If it ain't got shit to do with you, then my boy, mind your business. So much weight like I move a well. I eyeball the work, I won't use a scale. And I don't want to hear them stories how you used to sell. Got the FM 509 by the Louis belt. Look, they lying, acting like they hotter than me. I keep a knot in my jeans and that gang shit's not in your dreams. I mean, it's not in your jeans. I told him I was going to spin and I'm a man of my word. And I don't like to talk about it. Rather stand on it first. I knew I was going to boss up. Just need to put my hands on it first. Mm. So y'all niggas better stop the envy. My gun big and my pockets heavy. You know, so I used to call O to make it lock it for me. Now y'all want to ride my way. Y'all dick roll for a cheaper price. Boy, our times have changed. I did this without no label. No advance. When I started out, I ain't had no clout, no fans. I was really backed by a bunch of grams. Now I got holes in different area codes and a bunch of stands. Mm. <laughs> 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 Say, look, look, this anxiety driving me crazy late hours. And it's funny how your dream rides are everyday cars. See, I'm comfortable when I'm not home. I'm up now, and now it's a lot of fake love shown. Mm. This a role you need a Jacob, gotta know the difference. They hated more when I was on the way up like bitches. So when you see me, call me Big Vino. I got us Mexicans, cause I'm the cheat code. I see my ops, I see my ops in public. They just stand there like I'm shooting free throws. And I came up off of cheap bows. <laughs> when Merc Rock died, I grieved alone. While you, while you was ducking smoke, I was out here, nigga, the street snow. I was co-signed for the longest. I said, look, Merc, I said, Merc, you co-signed me for the longest. Now, if I ever think of you around August, this is a toast for the fallen. I got my side of the coast from all in. Every chip on the table to my floors of marble, and I got gold faucets. Till, mm. till all three of my sons got D1 off us, but please don't, don't tell what you get off us you ain't built like me and you left me to doubt real shit these painkillers level me out i told a jeweler aftermarket bezel me out the body of christ but the devil be out Ooh. see i'm changed but y'all took me back y'all lost the war y'all overly matched gotta look over me trapped gotta know your place and know where you're supposed to be at everything i've been through like i seen it before like i just woke up and dreamed it before fuck that contract i won't even read it before they turn they turn their back on me and i'm like what the fuck for for a turn of weekend and a couple of bands everything was built off these hustling hands i'll starve you for weeks nothing will land and i'll make you give me something in advance so better watch how you talking to me because you just an op to me say i won't pull up to your location with drop it to me your position they was offered they move around constantly this bottle of 42 be all for me i should have caught a body Clock jam. We more polished over here and we got bands. These LVs dark as hell. These the big frames. Big money and a big name. Big piece on a big change. Time change. We no longer pitch king. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> that's going to be on the new shit. ain't on no albums. That's, that's fresh. Word. Okay. That shit fire, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's that shit I be looking for, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that shit is laid down. Can't wait to hear that shit on the dope ass one of them dope beats. 
Man, yeah, that shit fire, man. That shit fire, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. Especially live and direct. That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. Definitely appreciate that. Hell yeah, my boy. I appreciate you tapping in with me, man. Hell yeah, man. Good looking, man. Appreciate you coming on, man. Really appreciate it. I do come to that show and sag. Just fuck with me, man. You know what I'm saying? You with me. You heard? Yeah, word. No doubt. Definitely, man. Definitely. Hell All right. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was Vino the Mono. You know what I mean? Spit that exclusive verse for me. That's what's up. Shout out to Vino. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was episode 67. Um, it just cut off, but you know what I mean? Yeah, episode 67 is Khan's podcast featuring Vino, motherfucker Lamano. You know what I'm saying? Hit us with that exclusive verse. Shout out to Vino. You know what I mean? But yeah, Khan's podcast. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button, subscribe button, comment on it, and all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to BSF. Vino. <laughs> yeah. Episode 67 now is Khan's podcast. Collect the beat. You're, you're not it.